Hey guys, what's going on? It's Colin here again. Back with another fan video. <laughs> um, this is actually quite a special little fan to me. As nowadays, most of the fans I get are special to me in one way or another. Um, but anyways, <clears throat> what this is, is it's actually a Corvettes branded uh, box fan. But that's really just a store rebrand. What it really is, is a Frigid. I think it's probably from the early 70s, if I had to guess. But uh, it's quite a special little fan to me because when I was a kid, um, my grandpa actually had one of these. Uh, he picked it off the curb from somewhere nearby, um, and that's when I learned about pulling fans out of the garbage was when he got this thing. <laughs> it took several years till I started doing it, but once I did, oh boy, there was no going back. <laughs> um, but yeah, he had one of these. It was specifically, I specifically remember um, the, this kind of frigid grill that they had. It's a kind of weird grill. Um, and I specifically remember it being a four-bladed version, and it also had a really cool buzzy startup sound. Um, this is actually only a two-speed. The one he had was a three-speed, but um, man, we got a lot of use out of that in the garage and whatnot. Um, and eventually, he took it to his house out east, where they used it in the window all the time. And there was one time where I went to visit him out there, and the fan had died. So we like kind of took it apart and tried bypassing switch and stuff. It turns out that the motor was just cooked. Um, I don't know whether it was due to a lack of lubrication or what, but back then I was too young to know anything about servicing fans, so I would imagine it probably got a bit warm and cooked itself. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, so after that I took it back home to his place and I made some crazy Frankenfan out of it with a f motor from a pool pump and uh, built a big wooden box. It was quite cool, but according to my grandpa, the motor spun it too fast and he was scared that the blades would all go flying off. I don't think they would have, but it definitely spun it up pretty fast. <laughs> um, but then after that, I think eventually it just kind of got parted out and thrown out. Um, but uh, I see. I think I actually have a picture of that Franken fan. I'll, I'll see if I can put it in here. But anyway, since then I've been kind of keeping my eye out for one of these uh, for a while. I got the little baby one for that reason because it was a small frigid, and I always kind of wanted one. Um, but. Uh, there was one time a couple weeks ago I was going out to buy an engine um, and they had a garage full of all sorts of random stuff. It looked like uh, the wife was cleaning up and whatnot. Um, <clears throat> and I ran back out to get something from the truck and as I was walking out I said, you know what, I'm going to just take a quick scan around here. Who knows, there might be something I want. And sure enough, out of the corner of my eye, I was looking this way. But I saw that Egg Creek Grill and I went, whoa, hold on a second. <laughs> so uh, I pulled it out and sure enough it was a four-bladed frigid just like the one I had been looking for. So uh, I asked her, I said, is this for sale? And she said, oh yeah, sure. I said, would you take ten bucks? And she said, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> so uh, this was a good ten dollar score. And I'm pretty excited about it. It's been sitting here in the garage for a couple weeks now because I haven't had a whole lot of time to work on it. And also, this grill is absolutely filthy and I want to power wash it, but it's been under 30 degrees here for a long time. Today it's finally like in the 50s, so I'm going to go ahead and power wash this grill today. So I figured I'd better start the video. Um, but anyways, apparently her husband used this in the garage all the time. He was some sort of mechanic. And I could tell that the, I'm pretty sure he was he or her, the wife was a smoker just based on the smell in there. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's all sorts of thick caked on dirt and you know dust and probably some nicotine crap in there. But um, overall, it's not in too bad a shape considering it was a garage fan, and I think it will clean up pretty nicely. So I'm pretty excited. It's actually a two-speed, um, which is not my absolute favorite, but hey, it's close enough for me. It's a model K800, in Corvette's numbers at least. Um, and it's 115 volt, 115 volt, 60 hertz, and 3 amps. I think that this is actually a Lakewood knob. It's not the type of knob I remember from a Frigid. Um, I might actually still have the switch from the original Frigid that my grandpa's had. If so, it's at my grandpa's somewhere, but I remember seeing it occasionally. And that still had the knob, so I'll take a look for it, and if it does, I'll throw that one on here but it's all original, it's just super dusty and dirty. It's got the original handle. Let me go ahead and spin it around here. There's your uh, Corvette's tag, and you can see just based in there, I don't know how much light there is in the garage here, but there's a lot of dust and crap on that motor. It's kind of ridiculous. Actually, these grills are super easy to pop off, I'll just show you. Something I like about these grills. Yeah, 
pretty dirty. <laughs> There's uh, some information on the motor there. I'll have to shoot a uh, get some video of later. But yeah, this thing's like full of leaves. It's a little rusty. But yeah, there's definitely some crap in that motor. I have a love-hate relationship with these grills. I love how easy they are to take off to clean it. And apparently her husband would clean this thing regularly. Uh, just hadn't been done in a while. Um, but I also don't like it because it's really old plastic and it kind of does... You, know, you have to twist the plastic a little bit to get it off. Especially if these springs are in good shape. Like my other low frigid, it's kind of a little scary. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually just leave this down here. And uh, the bearings aren't terribly stiff or anything, but this thing definitely could use a uh, clean and service for, at the least. And I think I'm going to go ahead and revarnish this motor too because it's got quite a buzz to it when it starts up. Which is something I remember the one that my grandpa had as a kid doing, but I don't want it to burn itself out or anything. So, I'm going to go ahead and plug this in over here. It's my newly built garage workbench. It's not where you, usually where I do fan videos, but... I don't feel like cleaning the other one off. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, we'll go, have, go ahead and get a startup sound here. We'll start up on high and you'll see what I mean. It's a cool sound if you ask me, but I don't know if it's necessarily the healthiest sound. <clears throat> but it does run strong, I'll give you that much. And it throws out a good amount of air, too. Kind of more so off to the sides. It's honestly not quite as much air as I would expect, but this thing is also ridiculously dirty, so I'm not terribly surprised. There's, there's a decent amount of air, but there's not quite the pressure behind it that I would have expected. But uh, we'll go down the low here. Low is a tad fast for my uh, taste, but it's still a nice low. It's actually still slowing down a bit. There's a good difference between the speeds. I just like a slow low, but yeah, that's a good enough low for me, honestly. The air sounds a bit restricted, but again, that's probably because it's so freaking dirty. We'll go back up to high and give it a spin down. Could also be this grill. I mean, this grill is not exactly the uh, most conducive to airflow, but looks cool. <laughs> so it's, it's really not a terrible spin down, but definitely needs some service. And just for the hell of it, let's start it up on low. Here we go. got that cool multi-tone like harmonic whine to it which I think is really cool it's actually still speeding up a bit it takes its time to speed up on low it's a heavy blade set I'm sure but I just love those noises that it makes but like I said it could probably use some servicing I have a feeling that it will keep that multi-tone noise but I'm I'm thinking that the buzzing that it get it does on high might decrease with some varnish but uh anyways I think I'm gonna go ahead and throw you guys up on the tripod here I'm going to start tearing into this thing. I think I'm going to start off by at least getting the grills off and power washing them. And uh, we'll do the rest in due time. So let's fire up the time lapse.
guys, so I got the motor apart now. Um, I was able to find out it's a Westinghouse. There's some information on it. It also says Surd 73, so I'm wondering if that means this is a 1973 fan, but uh could be totally wrong on that. <laughs> um, but <clears throat> it's interesting. I do remember the old one. The, the one I had as a kid had this green kind of a color to it, but it was on the outside as well, so it's kind of interesting, um, but that kind of sparked some memories. Uh, it's got actually got some fins on the rotor here for help of cooling, which is interesting. But um, this is the stator here, and besides the fact that it's ridiculously dirty, uh, there are some really loose windings on here. Like I can actually move some of them back and forth with my fingers and stuff, which is not very good, and probably causes the buzzing sound that you hear when startup. Like that, that's a really loose one there. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to clean the crap out of this thing and then with compressed air, not, don't use solvents or anything, that's probably not a good idea. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to go ahead and throw a couple coats of varnish on here as well, so maybe I'll get some video of doing that. So guys, it's done, or at least as done as it's going to get for this video. <laughs> uh, still a couple little things I want to do to it at some point. Uh, I'm going to look around for my original frigid knob for this thing, because I'm pretty sure this is a liquid knob and it's kind of icky. I didn't really put a whole lot of effort into cleaning it, but uh, if I have the original frigid knob, I'll put that on there. Also, at some point, uh, I really do want to polish these blades, because uh, I've seen them shine up pretty darn good. but. Uh, these are just so pitted and corroded right now that it, it just wouldn't be feasible to do. The amount of polishing compound and effort it would take is just kind of crazy. So what I might do at some point, actually it's not really showing up on the video. There you go. That crap. That's not dust or dirt or anything. That's like corrosion. What I might do at some point is I might steel wool them a bit and get most of that crap off of there and then polish them after that. But like I said, that will be a long time down the road, because uh, I really don't feel like doing that right now, nor do I have the time. <laughs> but, um, 
Yeah, and also I'm going to glue the badge back on, but right now I can't find it, so figures. <laughs> but if I do find it, I'll definitely glue it back on there. But anyways, uh, came out pretty darn good. Otherwise, I'm pretty happy. This fan was pretty nasty being in a uh, garage and a smoker's house. <laughs> Um, it could probably use another pass over with the magic sponge, but like I said, it's, it's good enough for me for now. Um, also, revarnishing the motor ha made a uh, made a very big difference. It doesn't do that buzzy thing anymore, which is good because that's uh, it was a little concerning to me. But uh, still has the cool startup sound, which I'll get for you guys in a few. But anyways, without further ado, I'm gonna put the uh, fan facing away from the camera, uh, and we'll start it up on high. I found out when I was cleaning this thing that the uh, kind of like restricted airflow noise that this fan makes has nothing to do with the grills. It's just how this fan is. It's probably the blades. Uh, I guess it just, is, that's just how it is. <laughs> Maybe these blades aren't the most aerodynamic. I don't know. But either way, it still moves a pretty good amount of air. Let's see if I can give you a little demo here. Still don't have one of the uh, Jordan New airflow testers, but uh, I have this. <laughs> These are paper towels, so it should give you an idea at least. But despite being a little noisy, it's a it's a pretty good air mover overall. The back grill squeaks a little bit, especially on low. But uh, I'm gonna try and see if I can bend those clips out a little bit so it sits a little tighter, or maybe I'll put a little felt on it or something. But being probably close to uh, 50 years old uh, you know being a close to 50 year old plastic I'm not expecting too too much from it I kind of expected it to rattle you know this low almost kind of feels like it should be a medium of a three-speed fan to me but it is what it is <laughs> actually I just built the speed controller module thing so uh, I'll do a video of it on some at some point it's pretty neat but I, I, if I really want to I can slow this down pretty much as slow as I want. So I'm not terribly concerned, but either way, it's still, it's not too loud. It's definitely usable. Try and use this in the window at some point over the summer. I think that would work pretty darn well. We'll go back up to high, we'll do a spin down, and I'll get the uh, star sound for you guys. It's got a pretty good spin down time, too. That oil definitely got in there. <laughs> So there you go. Let's go ahead and get a startup sound now. It's pretty cool. Well, this is about as close to the uh, motor as I can get the camera. Hopefully it'll pick it up. Start up on low first. And we'll go to high next. All right, and here we go on high. It's a little more pronounced on high, I think. So there you go, that's the uh, Corvette's frigid fan. Uh, like I said, I'm pretty happy with it overall. Been wanting this fan for a very long time. Really, I wanted the three-speed model, but honestly, this is more than close enough for me. Uh, I tend to want a specific model and then settle for something that's similar enough. <laughs> As you'll see in the next video I do, or one of the next few videos I do, I found a, uh, fan, of a, a fan that's close enough to one I've been looking for for a while, similar to this. But uh, anyways guys, I think that's going to wrap it up for this one. So uh, thank you all for watching. If you like what you see, hit the little like and subscribe buttons, I'd appreciate that. And also leave a comment if you have one. I love reading them and uh, interacting with you guys down there. So. Anyways, until the next one, I'll see ya. Bye.